What's up everybody? Welcome to the vlog from my backyard. Today we're going to talk suits. I got the Ultra Breeze full suit that I've been rocking and the day dent, half vent, partial vent that I've been rocking. And we're also going to talk about gloves that I use both for inspections and what I would call serious work. So I'm going to put the Ultra Breeze on and tell you a little bit about it, what I like, what I don't like. And then I'm going to tell you what I like about the day dent. Then we'll talk gloves at the end. But I figured this is a great video to make for our honey month, month of May daily vlogs. Let's get this Ultra Breeze on. I really wish that these were made in a color other than white. It'd be really nice. Now this suit, I am 5'7", about 155 pounds if I'm not lying to myself, 160 pounds. I'm an, I have an average torso, average legs, whatever. I mean, this is a medium suit. This fits me very well. I can raise my arms up without the sleeves coming coming up or the legs coming up or the, the crotch getting too wedgy. So overall, uh, really like the suit. The weight is good. I think I got one full day of making splits in it. But other than that, it's just been putting on boxes and inspections and stuff. The leg zipper. You can see that, very nice. Just zip it right on down. And normally I would go pants in the boots for this suit because I got the eight inch Thorogood boots and those the, the, the suit doesn't come above those boots. I do have the six inch version that I haven't tried with the suit yet, but I think that the suit would come above the six inch boot. So uh, one of the first things I noticed when I put the suit on besides it having a rather scratchy uh, feel on the inside of it, is the sleeves right here. They don't have, um, like the Daydance suit I'll show you, that has a thumb loop that keeps the sleeves from sliding up. If you do the, the elbow gloves or whatever, the B gloves, that doesn't matter too much. But if you do regular gloves like me, that's kind of important. I end up getting stung a lot in the wrists, which it is what it is. Zipper's really high quality. I like that the zipper is covered up by this piece of fabric here. Both the scratchy feeling and the weight comes with the fact that it's vented, but the vented, as far as weight goes on the ventilation, it's not bad. I've had heavier. As far as material goes, the material on the outside of this is rather thin. I have caught it in a few areas on equipment, like caught it on the forklift at one point, I caught it on a pallet at one point. It's a trade-off for weight, so Take it what you will, but I, I'm gonna put the suit through the ringer this year, working hard with it on. Um, my my idea with this full suit was, if I'm gonna be doing serious work, I'm gonna be in shorts and a t-shirt underneath this with my boots, doing serious work in this, so it's gonna get thrown through the ringer. And then my jacket I reserve for loading and unloading trucks if I even need a suit for that, and inspections. I have worn this You've probably seen me wearing this for inspections. I'm just trying to try it out and gain an opinion on it. So, good feel, good space in the suit, not too heavy. You do have the shoulder weight that comes with having a vented suit because all of the weight here is pulling down on your shoulders because there's no waist support like there is on a jacket. So it is what it is. But overall, I really like it. As far as the veil goes, the zipper right here, one pro that the Dayton has over the Ultra Breeze is that the zipper loop, I really like it. It's easy to grab with big gloves on. This you, is kind of more difficult to grab. The zippers are a little bit smoother on the Dayton. And I have not yet figured out how to get this veil off, but I haven't tried very hard either. And then veil quality, this veil mesh, and Ultra Breeze even says this on their website, the veil mesh they said they were going for visibility and strength, and this is like a happy medium. I will say the visibility is better in the Ultra Breeze than the Daydant as far as looking at eggs, but the strength, it's weaker, and it's gonna have to be replaced in no time. Overall, really like the suit. I've been very happy with it. It's not cheap. I've used other vintage jackets before that have been heavier and haven't been as comfortable as this. I think generally, if you want vented, it's just you're just going to sacrifice a level of comfort other than your body temperature. 
So let me know. I, I know a lot of you guys have ultra breezes out there. If you have one, if you have a jacket versus a suit, let me know what you think in the comments on that. And yeah, I hope to one day pick up a jacket and maybe compare it with the Daydant Full Vented. One of my guys, uh, two of my guys actually, we just got the Daydant Full Vent for them. You know, it's the same and I have to put it on a scale, but it feels the same as far as weight when you have the two in your hands. Now, the Daydant suit, I have been using this suit. This is my third one of these over years, honestly. I've been using this since it came out. I really like that it's not white. This is a large, fits me pretty well. Probably could do a medium if I wanted to. You can tell like the elastic comes down pretty low, but with the waist elastic, it just gives me space. See how smooth that zipper is with the loop. It's got a collar, which is, as far as comfort, like I said, you're sacrificing a little bit of the soft feel whenever you're going full vent, just because it's not cotton. That's part of having a vented suit. You either be hotter and more, you know, your skin is more comfortable, or you have a little bit of a scratchy feel, but you're cooler. So these are the, the loops I was talking about. A lot of suits have these. Elastic is, or the, the Velcro rather, is, a little bit better quality as far as this right here isn't super soft where it's gonna peel and like layer off or like have fuzz like kind of the ultra breeze it's pretty fuzzy it's gonna be a problem I can I can already tell over time this elastic I did not realize on my old suit it's probably twice as long now it happens with every B suit but you don't realize it till you put a brand new one on this has pockets galore. The Ultra Breeze has a few, but you've got one, two, three, four big pockets. For this, I keep all my inspection items, if I can get them out. Got the pens, I got the paint marker, the uh, lumber crayon, and a Sharpie. And then in this pocket, I keep spare gloves for inspections. And then up here, I only put like the phone, uh, if I don't have good bean pockets, and then like, if I've got inspection cards or whatever, I'll put them there. So you can tell this is a very well-loved suit. We'll talk about the bail here. Again, a little bit tougher than the Ultra Breeze, but a little bit harder to see out of. And this is more of like a, like this takes a lot of light away from your eyes. It's pretty dark, but it's good quality. And it takes a lot to put a hole in it in veil terms. Uh, as far as ventilation, you've got this full ventilation right here all the way down. That's why it's called a half vent suit because you've got the, the sweat areas, you've got the ventilation, and there's ventilation on the back of the veil here. So it does do really well in ventilation. It doesn't get too hot at all. I mean, you're going to have back sweat. It's not going to be as breezy as the Ultra Breeze. I've, I've, I made a ton of splits this year in this exact suit, and you can tell like zipper loop quality here. Like I said, it's got this nice loop. It's got the nice collar. Um, it's really easy to zip the bail up. Super quick. And then it has, I like not having to worry about getting these perfect because I can just, even if I've got a good gap right there, just hit that Velcro and it's not going anywhere. Half the time I forget to zip my bail anyway. As some of you noticed in my previous video. Both of those suits have their pros and cons. I'm gonna rock them both for a while. I have no reason to not. Um, there's nothing about the Ultra Breeze that I hate, so I'm not gonna replace it anytime soon. And let me know in the comments what you think about those. If you've tried, I've tried a lot of suits. Um, I've tried vintage suits. I've tried regular suits. Okay, my nice camera died, and I don't know why I even tried to use my nice camera. All that to say, I've tried a lot of suits since I've been little, little, probably I don't know when I got my first bee suit. Young, very young. I've had bee suits for at least 15 years in my life of various sizes and types. I've also gone through various gloves. So I've got some, some things under my belt. These aren't just the only two suits I've tried. I've got a lot of things that I've tried, but most of them have been trashed over the years. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments if you got a suit that you think I should try, if you wanna see me AB some suits against these. Uh, I would love to do that. I would love to be able to, to grab the suits and give you pros and cons of the suits to help people make decisions on what they want. 
think that would be awesome. So gloves, like I mentioned the truckers earlier, this glove in particular is a, a trucker glove. Um, it is pigskin, so it doesn't get too stiff when it gets wet, but it's also not as weak as goat skin. This is a small trucker. The red means small. I was rocking the medium, but the quality control on these is just bonkers. Some of the smalls don't fit me. Some of the smalls do. Some of the mediums are huge and some of them are would fit me. So the qual I'm, I'm a medium basically, but I like my gloves to be tight. I use these when I'm doing any sort of serious work. If I'm making splits, pulling honey, switching bees over for almonds or anything heavy, heavy work, I'm using these because I don't have to worry about getting stung through the glove as much as I do with the inspection gloves that I use. I also don't love when my hands sweat in these. It's just, I mean, I, I would go barehanded if, if it didn't make a difference, but it does having, having a glove on versus going barehanded. So these are the gloves that I use. You've seen them in many videos. A lot of you have asked questions about them. These are Uline nitrile gloves and they've got little grippies on them, if you can see. Uh, they're, I think, 5 mil, so they're not as thick as the Harbor Freight gloves that everyone uses, but I don't like how dark those gloves are. I know bees don't like dark colors, and I think that that makes a difference. Plus, these are easier to buy. I can order them. They're shipped to the door, and they're not as expensive as the Harbor Freight gloves are. So the times I'm using these are inspections. Anytime I need to be using a tablet or phone while I'm doing inspections, or if I need to be able to grab bees or poke through larva or anything, anytime I need the precision, I'm using these. Plus anytime I'm gonna be coming into contact with any chemicals of, of course, treatments, I'm gonna use these. But also feed, if it's gonna be sticky, I'm not using my trucker gloves and pollen patties, pollen sub. If I'm gonna be using that and it's sticky, then I'm using these so that I can just discard them when I'm done. So I know a little bit of a long-winded comparison. I hope that made sense to you and that that's valuable information. It's been a long day, so I hope I make sense. Thanks for watching. If you wanna see more this month, every single day we're making videos, except for the weekends, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let me know what you think of the input pros, cons in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>